Life wasn't easy. I was a freshly divorced duck, not able to pay next month's rent. Not that I had paid for it this month yet. My brain felt foggy, and I was trying to remember. Where did all my money go? I had to retrace last night's steps. I won't be needing this badge anymore. I guess I can keep it as a souvenir. My new job as the duck detective isn't going any better, though. <sighs> well, if things keep going badly, I can always sell it online. No messages. I can't believe Anna actually filed the divorce papers. Second overdue notice. I wonder at what point they start kicking people out. <sighs> I took that photo of her in a secluded tulip field. We spoke for hours under the stars that night. And now, she doesn't even answer my texts. This fresh smell. Oh, sweet spongy loaf. Oh, you keep me safe at night. I have everything I need to solve this now. Ah, not my proudest moment, but the toast helps me to forget. <laughs> I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. You have to believe me! <clears throat> oh. Yeah, have you speaking to the duck detective? Let's discuss this in person. I'll be there in an hour. I spent more than half of my remaining cash on the bus fare. And here I was, in front of their bus office. Some sort of rundown call center. I better crack this case, or I won't even have enough money to make it back home. New bus route starting in August. Visit the scenic mountains of South Sitia. I'd always tell Anna we'd go there one day. Sound unhappy. You bet I am! Their stupid buses always arrive late! I came back from a work trip to the west and arrived here at three in the morning! And they don't even want to give me a refund! How much did you pay? Um, two schmark. <laughs> but that's not the point! It's about the principal. This office looks like it'll worsen my depression. I could already tell based on her face that the receptionist was a tough one. She wouldn't make life easy for me. But I had to make my way into the office. I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. Okay. Do you work here? Um, uh, no. Well, then I can't let you in. 
but I've been hired by someone from their bus. Who hired you? Um, I didn't catch their name. Listen, buddy, you better get out of here or I'll have to call security. There's always more to people than you might think. I should take a closer look and figure out what she's about. You're still here? I'll leave you alone. It's locked. I literally just told you you need to stay out. Tomorrow is Friday. Need to remember to collect my dry cleaning. These are quite mundane. I'm surprised nobody wrote something more scandalous. It says server room. It's locked. I should be able to deduce her name now. I should be able to figure out what's going on with her. I need to check my notes in the deduction section. You're still here? Good observation. Sophie Windheimer. Get out. Aren't you impressed I deduced your name? I'm wearing a name tag, nitwit. Well, it doesn't say your first name, though. That part is creepy, but I'm choosing to ignore it. That's why she's making such a face. I should try and cheer her up. You're still here? I'm just here to wish you a happy birthday. <gasps> How did you know? Just another one of Duck Detective's great deductions. Huh? Uh, anyway, that was really nice of you. No one else remembered, can you believe it? If you know my birthday, you must have a connection to someone here. Here's the keycard to the office. You could have just told me you know someone here. Not sure why you acted so weird with all the detective business.
The stained carpets and peeling wallpaper exuded a stench of stale coffee and abandoned dreams. I knew I couldn't stay long, or it would rub off on me. This is the last straw! Fredersen needs to be fired! I'll see what I can do. Who are you? Do you have a problem? If you have one, just call our damn hotline. I'm Eugene McQuacklin, the duck detective. A client hired me to investigate a case. <sighs> Why didn't you just say so? It's time we put an end to the awful lunch death. All we need to fire him is some evidence for the upper management. I'll be in my office. First, I had to find out who works here and what their jobs are. I needed to find my client as well. Thankfully, I remembered the piece of paper I had in my jacket from taking notes during the call. Two desks on this side look unused. This is Fairbus. How can I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not cancel your booking! She, uh, looks busy. What is your relationship with Sophie Windheimer? Excuse me for a second. Oh man, I don't know how I'd survive the office without her. Sucks that she's at the reception. I would have loved to have her in the office. I'm back. Yes, please collect your toddler from the bus station. I need to ask you some questions. No, I'm sorry. You can't take your 12 trombones on the bus. What? Can't you see I'm talking to a customer? It's company policy. Nothing I can do. Goodbye. Do you know anything about who called me here? What are you talking about? Listen, I have a million more emails to answer, and there are 50 people in the phone queue. I have worked 10 days in a row, including three night shifts, and Manfred still doesn't want to give me a raise! Just leave me a piece! So, you have no clues for me? Is Bear Bus, how can I help you? Uh, your yarn ball is still on the bus. Which route were you on? It's a list of all the bus drivers. The most busy driver out of all four seems to be Petrovich. Their buses don't go very far. I'm the only one here in the operating office. Can you imagine? I plan all the bus routes and make sure the buses are on time. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Don't you have an angry customer shouting outside about the buses being late? I, uh... Really? Do you have any idea who picked me to investigate? <laughs> no idea, but I'm so happy you're here. I have a copy of your book. 
The early bird catches the criminal. Can you sign it? <sighs> I... <sighs> yeah. I guess so. Woo! <laughs> Thanks so much, Mr. Duck Detective. I won't ever forget this. This will become a core memory. PC is on, but the person who works at this desk seems to be on a break. They only have a single person answering the hotline right now? That's surprising. clues to her password. I don't think I have enough information to crack it yet. I shouldn't go outside yet. I need to find out who the people in this office are first. Did I remember to write down their professions and my deductions? In here must be the crime scene. First, I want to find out who the people in the office are. It will make things easier in the long run. I'll need to remember to write everything down in my deductions. I'm not sure I'd feel particularly appreciated. The dimly lit room seemed to promise well-kept secrets and rumors. How are the detective things going, Mr. Detective? It's Mr. McQuacklin. Right. Apologies. Um, are you planning on staying in my office much longer? I'll have to inspect the entire premise to do my job correctly. <sighs> well, hurry up. Was it you who called me? No. I never heard of you before. That's unusual. It's good you're here, since there has been some... unrest. What a fancy nameplate. It says... Ernst. It's a letter for an application for a promotion to senior customer service agent, signed by L. Angst.
What are you doing with my family's portrait? S sorry. Is it normal to have a huge painting of your family in your office? What do you know about Laura Angst? Oh, she's a fantastic employee. She basically does the work of five people. What do you think about Manfred Ernst? Oh, he's a great guy. I just wish I'd finally get a raise. Yes, yeah, sorry, this is Bear Bus. Your bus will be three hours late. Can you tell me more about Freddy Frederson? Let me put you on hold while I find the route for you. Freddy? He gets paid more than me. Can you imagine that? What an incompetent waste of office space. Hello, this is Laura again. I checked the bus routes and found that. This is Bear Bus. How can I help you? Ugh, this is the third time you're calling. I'm telling you, your ex-wife did not... She, uh... What do you know about Manfred Ernst? I think he likes me. He's the only one who doesn't shout at me. I'm so bored. I don't understand why such a small office needs a reception. I'm just here to keep the angry customers out. What can you tell me about Laura Angst? Laura needs to chill out. I do love her, but if she keeps living like this, she'll have a heart attack by 23. So, do you have an idea who would have hired me? It's about the incident, isn't it? Um, sorry, no idea. Now that I had worked out these names, I was ready to check out the crime scene. Let's see where that lunch got stolen from. Then I could finally talk to my client. Cold air ruffled my feathers, and I wondered what kind of sorry soul was standing all alone in the rain. Hey man, this isn't the bus stop. You'll have to walk south to the central bus station. What? I'm not here to take a bus. Oh, it's cold out, but if I go inside, I have to face Sophie.
you, um, like Freddy Frederson? He's a pretty funny dude. Loves to rant about detective novels. What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? <sighs> Man, I wish she'd let me talk to her. I'm investigating a case here at Bearbus. Oh, uh, do you mean the lunch that got stolen? Exactly. You know who called me? Nah, too busy minding my own business. I don't talk much with the customer service folks. Someone left their bag here. Ugh. It's full of dirty chim clothes. Do you know anything about this bag? Oh, it's really strange. Things in it disappeared, and others appeared. Very suspicious. <sighs> what are you even talking about? Is this your bag? No. Oh, everyone here is being really unhelpful. Hey, man, this isn't the bus. You'll have to walk south to... What? I'm not here to take a... As soon as I entered the kitchen, the comforting waft of cheap white toast entered my nostrils. <sighs> I knew I had to stay strong. This wasn't what I was here for. Stop eating the icing! Can't you wait a couple hours? Margaret, if it wasn't for these pants almost bursting, I'd have this for breakfast. Every day. Yes, yes, and you can have it and so much more later, when we're done preparing. Office parties are a bad idea anyway. They stopped doing them at the precinct after the, uh, jam incident. Yes, dear? I'm Eugene McQuacklin, detective, and I need to ask some questions. A detective? How exciting! What's the most gruesome murder you've seen? How many dead bodies have you encountered? I almost died that one time when I got myself into trouble with the Teething Turtles Mafia. That incident taught me to stay away from beautiful ladies in red. Did they break your kneecaps? Huh? No! You can see that I can walk just fine! Hmm... What do you think of Sophie Windheimer? She doesn't have the easiest life, you know. She just had a terrible breakup with her ex. But don't tell anyone! Can you tell me anything about Laura Angst? Oh, she's such a hard-working girl. I heard she secretly studies for her online bachelor's during work. You need to keep this a secret, though. Do you know whose bag this is? Isn't that... Freddy's? Do you know anyone here who could have hired me? Hmm... To be honest, everyone was quite shocked by the lunch theft. And no one told me they've called a detective! I don't know what's going on at all! Surely you must have some interesting stories. No one 
died, but I investigated a case once where five little pigs robbed a bank. Caught them red-handed and got myself an article in the Goose Times. They called it the Piggy Bank Case. Did someone get shot? What? No! Beaten up? Uh, no. Hmm. Out they wash their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. So, this must be the crime scene. This note is curious. Gross. I doubt they washed their hands after leaving that greasy handprint. Dishwashers broken again! What's wrong with these youngsters? Don't know how to treat things with respect. Why would they put the mugs in face up? <laughs> what is your relationship with Margaret Whitlock? Ah, she's a true sweetheart. We have our weekly mahjong evenings. Do you get along with Manfred Ernst? Hmm. He's a stubborn one. I do respect that. Would you say you enjoy Freddy Frederson's, um, company? Huh. If anyone needs to learn to respect their elders, it's that moron. I'm a private detective, and I'm here to investigate a case. Is that so? I need to find my client. Do you know who it could be? Uh, Freddy's a bit of a weird one, so I'd imagine you would call detective. Personally, I feel we're doing just fine, and don't need no messing about our business around here. Do you know anything about this bag? Why are you going around pushing bags into people's faces? Ugh, what's that awful smell? It's, uh, dirty gym clothes. Are you getting along with Rufus Sedaris? You know, the two of us are from the older generation. Which means we understand each other well. He is quite harsh towards the younger ones, though. Uh, you're still here. I have a feeling you're not enjoying my company. Not particularly. What can you tell me about Boris Petrovich? He's, uh, not the most reliable worker. Uh, but it's difficult finding replacements nowadays. What is Rufus Sedaris like? Uh, not the greatest janitor. But he came with the building. Oh, 
What can you tell me about Margaret Whitlock? She gets really angry with me when I don't return mugs to the kitchen. Um, why don't you just return them? I do! Uh, just not every day. Do you get along with Boris Petrovich? He's a chill guy. I take the bus sometimes to go to bouldering conventions, and then we get to chat. Is this your bag? Huh? No, mine's over there. The one with all the salami? <laughs> yeah. Why do you need so much salami? It's not mine. It was just there. A really nice surprise. What do you know about Rufus Sedaris? I don't think he likes me very much, to be honest. But then, doesn't feel like he likes anyone at this office. Hmm. Except for Margaret, I guess. Do you think they have a thing going on? <sighs> I don't work here. I thought you were a detective. Oh, it's, if I go inside, I have to face... What kind of a person is Boris Petrovich? Ugh, I don't know what I saw in him. I mean, I guess he's good looking, but my God, is he boring. How are you getting on with Margaret Whitlock? She's sweet and all, but she can't keep her mouth shut. It seems like the office knows more about my personal life than me. It says, server room. It's locked. Now that I had everyone's name and job, it would be easier to figure out what was going on. So it was Laura who called me. I needed to discuss the case with her. You're my client? Well, why didn't you tell me? Can I put you on hold for a second? Ugh, what? Well, you should have told me you're the duck detective. What are you? I'm a duck. I'm wearing a trench coat. So is Freddy getting fired or what? <sighs> I'm uh, working on it. Ugh. It can't be that hard. Sorry, I'm back. Yes, let me walk you through the booking process. It was time that I found out what happened with the lunch theft and what they were planning in the kitchen. Margaret was planning a surprise birthday party for Sophie. I see. 
<laughs> he didn't actually forget her birthday. was as I thought. Freddy Fredersen was actually being framed. <laughs> this office wasn't as boring as it looked. When Freddy took the bus back and he went to pick up his luggage, he must have picked up the wrong bag. This happened because there was another bag that's identical to his. The bag that he picked up belonged to the Salami Bandit! This made him a target. And to get rid of Freddy, the Salami Bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! It's time for... You Know What! Okay, get into position. I just texted her, so she should be here in a... Huh? What's this? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, oh, surprise! Uh, no way. This is all for me? Huh? A letter? Ugh. Oh. Salami? What a terrible present. No, you silly idiot! The real present got stolen and switched for salami! It's the Salami Bandit! I saw an awful lot of high-grade salami in Fredrickson's bag. And now there's no question who the perpetrator is. I've been telling you all along, we can't trust Fredrickson! By the end of the day, he'll be fired. Mark my words. Seems like a bit of an overreaction to a present being stolen. Or is there more to it? That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? <laughs> It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> uh -huh. What can you possibly do? Leave me alone. wonder what the purpose of that letter is.
Oh. Oh, God. What did I just read? It's a heart-shaped necklace. <laughs> Looks tacky. Someone gifted Sophie a plushie. It says, limited edition. Do you think she liked my present? I mean, now she's crying, but... I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine! I should really get back to work. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it! I don't know what to do! Oh, what should I do? I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. I cracked it! Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Who is this person she's messaging? You definitely don't want to be Laura's enemy. This folder says, Manual for CS Agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly? I'm falling asleep just reading the title. The two desks on this side look... So... What happens to the cake now? What do you think about this letter? Hm. People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. What's with the weird line breaks? <sighs> Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? 
Um, she didn't. Ah, I see. Maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. What do they have against potatoes? They, they really think I've done it! Duck Detective, you have to help me! You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh, I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Nothing got stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. explains all the high-grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. The mystery of the salami bandit was slowly getting unraveled. Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the salami bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West smuggling it to the east and selling it at a high profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit that had a hidden, threatening message. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for... Sophie. Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone, like usual. 
She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <coughs> I will start then regardless. I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... What? The, no one died! I'm getting framed! I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He... is... right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered a conspiracy. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses. Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Now that is really scandalous! D does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh, maybe. Listen, everybody! It's really important that no one leaves the premises. Ugh. I need to get back to work. Oh, everybody's leaving? Oh. I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective. This is getting intense, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Just stay here. Like this? Yep, you're doing great. Someone forgot their phone. wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Maybe I should write a book too. It can't be that hard. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? I've been doing very well so far, if I do say so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. <laughs> she left? Just like this? Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her?
What a dramatic turn. I should keep this as evidence. Did you read Sophie's letter? I did. Something's off. Something's different. Does this mean I'll never see her again? S Sophie left! And she left a note on the desk. Sophie's parents are awful, you know. I wonder if that's what made her run away. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? It doesn't make sense at all that she'd just suddenly leave. She definitely needs the money. And she would have told me! I'm her friend! Let's see... The last dialed number on this phone is She complained about this online. Someone is clearly obsessed with detectives. What do you think of this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy theories, is it? Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Seems a bit cheap. Look what you've instigated! Now everyone is dilly-dallying around instead of doing their work! Was that different before? Have you seen Sophie's resignation? <laughs> no. I can't say it comes at a surprise. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. Are you writing another book? No. I can be your ghostwriter. <sighs> I'll think about it. What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Oh, I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. I did tell him to cool off a bit. 
Why are people not listening to me? Why would Laura recruit you? Aren't there any other detectives who are act- I've been doing very- The truth- huh? Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time to see what's behind his precious family portrait. wanted to open a ridiculously big safe. Let's see what secrets he has in here. Awful lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Wait, this keychain. Here it is! The key for the server room! Let's see what's hidden in here. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, secret detective business. Hmm. The electrical sparks and blinking lights created a claustrophobic atmosphere. I definitely felt that I wasn't supposed to be here. What's he keeping in all these boxes? I don't think it's meant to do this. Okay. What's up with these bear bus vouchers on Issei? Honestly, this is nicer than my apartment.
Sophie got kidnapped. There must be more to this. This is what Rufus and Margaret were doing with the vouchers. Hmm. That might be illegal, but this wasn't what I was here for. I needed to catch the Salami Bandit. I quickly needed to find out where Sophie was being kept. I also couldn't let the Salami Bandit get away with this. It was finally time to find out who was behind everything. where she is being kept. <clears throat> it's important that I stayed calm now. I couldn't alert the culprit, or all of this will have been for nothing. I needed to first figure out who is behind everything, so I could confront them. Manfred is the Salami Bandit. That makes a lot of sense. Ironic that his handwritten note meant to frame Fredersen ended up incriminating Manfred instead. Something was missing here. Who else was involved with this? I had collected everything I needed. I just had to organize my thoughts. It wasn't working alone. It made sense for the bus driver to be involved. Sophie managed to talk Boris into this. Aha! I had it all figured out now. It was time that I confront the culprits. But first, I had to free Sophie.
Why is everyone yelling? This looks dramatic. It's kind of a long story. And guess who deduced said long story? The one and only Duck Detective. Read the room. This is how everything went down. The Britzel Beerbus branch was suffering losses and had their budget cut as a result. Manfred, worried about the financial stability of his family, felt himself backed into a corner. This is when he became the Salami Bandit. He made his grand plan of salami smuggling and realized he couldn't do this alone. He recruited Boris since it would be easiest for the bus driver to load and unload the wares discreetly. The bus would go through a customs check at the Salsiccia bus station first. And then Boris would take a detour to get the salami and load it onto the bus. This is why the buses always had a huge delay. It wouldn't be easy to talk Boris into crime, so Manfred convinced Sophie to join the team. Boris's obsession with her would make it easy for her to manipulate him into helping with their plan. Everything was going well until... The Duck Detective! That's me. Infiltrated the office. Freddy was meant to be the scapegoat for the crime. But I'm not fooled that easily. Sophie began getting cold feet. And ultimately wanted to confess to the police. Manfred couldn't have this, so he interfered. In an outburst of panic, he abducted her and hid her in the luggage compartment of one of the buses. And this is why Manfred stole Laura's lunch! What? Everything is figured out, but who is truly guilty? Manfred... Sophie and Boris are all involved in the smuggling. Who should get arrested for their crimes? Manfred was the mastermind behind everything. Should Manfred get arrested? He is the reason this all started in the first place. Of course he should be arrested. What about Sophie? Without her, the smuggling wouldn't have been possible. She manipulated poor Boris into taking the salami across the border. Should Sophie get arrested? What she did was clearly illegal. She needs to face the consequences. Boris was at the end of the chain. Had he refused to take the salami on board, the plan would have not worked out. Should Boris get arrested? He didn't even realize what was happening. I don't think this is a basis for arresting someone. All right, I've made up my mind. I will report to the state police. Manfred! Sophie. And I do it again. Anything to secure my family's well-being. I'm not sure grand-scale salami smuggling was necessary for that. How else was I going to cope with all the budget cuts? If anyone actually worked in this office, we wouldn't have such terrible performance in the first place! Hey! I work! Yes, and then you keep asking for promotions! How am I going to give anyone a promotion if we have people baking cakes during working hours? <laughs> and while we're at it, Rufus! How dare you embezzle money from the company and then threaten me! <laughs> That's... Rufus said we're only doing that until his book takes off! And then I'll play the lead alien in the movie adaptation! 
Look who's going to jail now, Manfred. Not me, that's for sure. I stand by what I said. I regret nothing. What is this? If I had known that calling the duck detective would result in this, I would have never done it. You were supposed to find out who stole my lunch, not accuse my best friend of smuggling. <sighs> I knew this was a bad idea from the beginning. Why did Boris have to lose the bag? My god, he is such an idiot! I had no idea it was that important. Why didn't anyone tell me about the plan? You said your cousin was ill, and the only thing that would make her happy was the Salsiccia Salamis. Oh, I should have known. If you're stupid enough to believe that, then you're also too stupid to bring a couple sausages across the border! Wow, you really did quack the case, Mr. Duck Detective! You're just as cool as I imagined! Not now, Fredersen. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But it is my duty to throw bread to the fine beak of Lady Justice. Oh, crap. I completely forgot to collect my payment from Laura. Everybody already went home. How am I going to pay for the bus? I guess I'm walking home. Ahem. <clears throat> Need a ride? I just booked this one. It's been such a long day after all. No, thank you. Come on, it'll be fun! Plus, you must be tired after all the detective work. I really don't. Please? I... Yeah, fine. Great! Now I finally have time to tell you all about my ideas for your social media. Please don't. I could get you tons of publicity. No. And imagine, we can team up. Absolutely not. And I could be your side. 